today's problem of what else can go wrong, um, we're gonna be taking the head off and just pretty much inspecting the damage. So I guess let's just get into it. The goal is pretty much simple. Remove the intercooler piping, remove the turbo as one assembly, try to leave the turbo attached, um, and just remove the turbo manifold from back here, um, and go ahead and remove the head. So just kind of keep it together as much as I can, that way I can eliminate the removal of more stuff, and so potentially having more stuff to lose. So. But luckily this head will not go be going back on this car, so we will be going VTEC, so that's a plus. So, like we said in the previous video, ring lands and there it goes. We can see that it's official ring lands. And here we have the pieces. And the rings were actually cracked. They were a little bit seized from uh, this being uh, very floaty. So once I try to take the rings out to see, cause right away I saw the crack. And that is crazy that because I've seen them crack and still have a little bit of compression, but this one had zero compression, which is crazy. And it has that big mark right there, but the cylinder wall looks good. I might do a little light hone just to get the uh, cross hatch pattern back on, but there you go. That's the damage of 15 pounds and not running E85. So E85 is very important. So I was just uh, finishing inspecting the sleeves and they all look in really good shape, which it's pretty good for me not her she's going most likely see 18 17 16 pounds of boost now that i'm going to be throwing some upgraded pistons in there um but if you do want to keep on following the build just hit the like uh like button subscribe down below and just let me know what you think in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys on the next video